Shalom Israel, it's Russell Sullivan, Hebrew Israelite. And I'm coming here today, you know, I, I, I really don't like this New Testament. But you know, you know, we gotta uh, take out the good, you know what I'm saying, from the bad, you know what I'm saying? Even though I really don't like going into it, I gotta go into it to bring this out real quick. You know what I'm saying? For all you uh, people who call yourself Christians and religious, but you guys, you guys just do not honor the, the word. You don't honor what the words say. You know what I'm saying? We got marriages. You know what I'm saying? We we got people committing adultery. You know what I'm saying? Not honoring what the Torah say, what the words say. You know what I'm saying? All right. You know, we we know that man that y'all put man in his head. You know what I'm saying? He created man. You know what I'm saying? And he took woman from man. And he created and put man as head, you know what I'm saying? Because woman was deceived by the serpent, right? So since woman was deceived by the serpent and woman deceived the man, see what I'm saying? So therefore, the Most High put man as head. But we're going to go to the book of Ephesians. This is the New Testament. And everybody know I really don't like this New Testament. But I'm going to bring out this truth real quick for y'all, you know what I'm saying, who don't understand. We're going into the book of Ephesians. It's chapter 5. Because this stuff that we talk about is biblical. It's not just out the top of our heads. People think the things that we say is coming out the top of our heads. But if you're an Israelite, you're trying to live a righteous life. So therefore, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be t talking out the top of your head. You're going to speak scripturally. You know what I'm saying? The, the most high say, let the Torah be in your hearts and in your minds. You know what I'm saying? He say, mediate on this Torah day and night. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, the Torah is supposed to be your conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like we're supposed to hollow the Sabbaths and keep it holy. But yet, our people do not hollow the Sabbath and keep, the, keep it holy. But on Saturdays, our people was all at the club defiling the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? In their wickedness. You understand? So we we just gotta go up into this uh we gonna talk about you know what I'm saying marriage and to me you know what I'm saying the same thing would apply to like girlfriend and boyfriend because if you're a girlfriend or a boyfriend what you're trying to do is uh proceed you're trying to get to the marriage part you know what I'm saying so that you can be one with your partner you know what I'm saying so if you're a boyfriend or a girlfriend you still shouldn't be out here cheating on your boyfriend or girlfriend or just disrespected them and disregarding their feelings all right but right now we're gonna go to uh the book of ephesians we we're in chapter five we're gonna start at verse uh 21 and we're gonna read all the way through 31 all right and say we're gonna start at 20 way say submit yourselves to one another in the fear of elohim in the fear of yahweh so, man and woman, you're supposed to submit yourselves to one another. You know what I'm saying? In the fear of your house. 22, he say, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto your house. Right? So, you're supposed to submit yourself, woman, unto your man. Not to your family members. You know what I'm saying? Not to your best friend or your friends. But you submit yourself unto your husband. Or your man. You did. That's Torah based. You know what I'm saying? All right. 23. He say, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Yahweh is the head of the assembly. Right? And he is the savior of the body. So Yahweh is the savior of the body. But we're supposed to submit ourselves. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 one, the husband is the head of the wife, according to this Torah. So you're supposed to come submit yourself to your hu to your husband, woman, as 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 to you as as to the Most High. Know what I'm saying? You're supposed to sub be submissive. Know what I'm saying? Even the man's supposed to submit himself unto the woman. Know what I'm saying? So it's not like I own you and you own me. We're both we're both adults, but we're supposed to respect each other. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, you know what I'm saying? If I have a problem with something that you're doing, you're supposed to respect my problem and change that problem in order to make things better. Like if I have a if you have a problem with what I'm doing and you tell me and I have to correct that problem, I have to stop doing that problem in order to, you know what I'm saying, respect you, you know what I'm saying, to make our 
relationship better. These are the things you have to do to make your relationship grow. You know what I'm saying? If you keep on disrespecting your partner, it's not going to grow, but it's going to tear apart. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Most High got order to things. There's of order to things. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. 24. Therefore, as the assembly is, is subjected unto Yahweh, let the wives be to their husbands in everything. Right? So as we submit ourselves to the Most High Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? Our wives submit themselves to us in everything. He didn't say some things. He said in everything. Right? 25. He said, husbands, love your wives even as Yahweh also loved the assembly and gave himself for it. Right? So Yahweh, he created us. You know what I'm saying? He said, keep the Torah in your hearts and in your minds. You know what I'm saying? So husbands, you have to love your wives and submit unto your wife. Right? So if she has a problem with something you're doing, you have to stop what you're doing in order to correct to correct the problem. You just can't act like you can't ignore the problem or the or the problem will never be corrected. You have to correct the problem. Right. All right. Twenty six. He say that he might sanctify and cleanse it and with washing of water by the word. So by the Torah. Right. He cleansed you, right? And he washed you with the word of the Torah, right? So we must follow this order that the Most High laid out for us in order to have a, rela a, a, a healthy relationship and a healthy life in general, right? All right, 27, he said that he might present it to himself a glorious assembly, not having spot or wrinkle or such anything, but it shall be holy without blemish right so we got to be holy to the most high we can't we can't keep being uh we can't keep being drug into all this wickedness you know what i'm saying we can't keep hitting the club up on saturday that's the sabbath bro we got to hollow and keep the sabbath holy so how is we gonna keep hitting the club up on the sabbath day you know what i'm saying you is in wickedness you know what i'm saying and your ignorance you're in wickedness you know what i'm saying all right he say, 28, so all men to love their wives as their own bodies, that he loveth his wife, loveth his wife, loveth himself, right? So men, they got to love their wives as they love their own bodies, as they love their own self. You know what I'm saying? Just like the woman have to love the man. See, woman, submit yourself unto your husbands as unto your house. For husband is the head of the wife, even as even as Yahweh head of the house uh, of the church. You know what I'm saying? So it's both ways. It's not one side, and it's not. It don't mean that I own you and you gotta do what I say. It's not like that. It's all about respecting your man and following the order that Yahweh set up. You understand? Twenty twenty nine. He say, for no man ever hated. Ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it, even as Yahweh the assembly. And yet the assembly is you, Israel, your body. The mo you have to be, you know what I'm saying, sin free. You have to be purified. You have to be clean in order for the most high Yahweh to dwell inside your inside parts. You know what I'm saying? Inside your temple, which is you, Israel, is not a building. You know what I'm saying? All right. But we're going to keep going. We're going to go to verse 30. He say. For we are members of his body, of his flesh and of his bones, because the most high created us in his image. You know what I'm saying? He say uh, 31. He say for this cause shall man leave his father and his mother and shall be joined unto his wife and they too shall be one flesh. So when you join together with your wife, you're supposed to be one flesh. You're supposed to be one mind. You know what I'm saying? Every, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to respect her. She's supposed to respect you. The things that you're supposed to do, you do together as one. You know what I'm saying? You don't do things as separate people anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because you was united in one. So when you start doing things in, in separateness, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're going away from your, your, 
the uh the ordinances that the most high set up. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do things as one. You gotta think as one. You know what I'm saying? Discipline your kids as one. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep doing things separate. You know what I'm saying? Then you messing up the ordinances that the most high set up. 32. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Yahweh and the assembly. 33. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself and the wife see that she reveres her husband. See? So the wife must also love her husband. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back. Check it out. So y'all won't forget, you know what I'm saying? We keep, we, we, we're trying to keep it clear, you know what I'm saying? Submitting yourselves one to another in fear of Yahweh. See? So it ain't about me owning you, you owning me. We both adults. You dig what I'm saying? But we're doing this for the most high Yahweh in order to keep his ordinances. You know what I'm saying? We're doing this in order to keep our relationship right. You know what I'm saying? And, and growing instead of falling. You know what I'm saying? That's the point. You know what I'm saying? The most high set up ordinance for everything. You know what I'm saying? And with that, you know, hold on. We'll, we'll go to 22. He said, Why? Submit yourself unto your husband as unto Yahweh. 23. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Yahweh is the head of the assembly. See? So, woman, you have to submit yourself to your husband just like he got to submit himself unto you. Right? And with that, I like to say, Kao Halala, Yahweh Akai. Shalom.